of our little bet. Oh, come on, Sarah, not this again. I'm telling you, there's no point in setting up that wager. So you intend to stick with the ridiculous notion that the beer served at the hitching post is better than Jake's? Better than Jake's? Better than Madame Sauvage's place in Neon? Better than anywhere, hands down. You want to throw your money away, I'd be happy to take it. Otherwise, let it go already. One day, we're going to system hop and test your theory. I just hope you're ready for some escape trajectory plotted. We're locking into orbit now. ask Sam about Akina sometime. He has some pretty amazing stories to tell. All right, we're here. You ready? Because once we get started, I'm going to be riding your tail till this is over. There's uh, something you should know up front. I'm a co. As in Solomon Co., first man on Aquila. That tale I mentioned before, the one I think is connected to an artifact, it's something of a family legend. After Planetfall, Solomon spent years mapping Aquila, and he found a tiny little patch of nothing on his sensors. The kind of nothing an artifact produces. He called it the Empty Nest said it was a place even the wildlife of Aquila wouldn't go. Solomon's maps are locked up tight in the local gal bank. We'll be heading there.
Yes. Can I get an invoice? <laughs> Got anything you need to offload? Trade authority is always by. Here. It's pretty dangerous out in space these days. Corporate policy. Place. By order of Marshal Daniel Blake, I need to inform you we've got some trouble at Gal Bank. Folks might be in danger, so you may want to steer clear. Never a dull moment around here. Well, I know you. You're Sam Coe. Marshal will be damn glad to have another Free Star Ranger helping out. Afraid your information is a couple years out of date. I guess that'd be the Marshal's call. Frankly, it ain't going well. Looks to be a stalemate. Maybe a little outside help would do some good. We gotta get to that vault in Galbank. Well, I doubt those robbers are gonna let us leisurely peruse the Galbank vault. We better see if we can help move the situation along. You planning to tell me your demands at some point? You find someone we can trust and maybe we will. Like who? Not you, not one of your rangers, and not these city guards neither. Uh, what the hell am I supposed to do with that? You need to stand back now. It's a hostage situation. Now please, get back, or I'll have the guards drag you away. I don't mean to be rude, but I don't know you. Now please, stand back. Keeler City at its finest, I see. Never a dull moment. Well, I'll be damned. Sam Coe. Been a long time. I won't hold my breath about you being here to take the badge again. Uh, listen, Sam, just so you know, I don't blame you for how it went down. For the others, though, you might get a different reception. Thanks. I appreciate you saying so. But I figure some of that reception is owed. Still, I appreciate the sentiment, Marshal. It seems you got a situation. My friend here may be the answer you're looking for. All right, Sam. I'll trust your judgment on this one. Some folks from the Shaw Gang tried to rob the place, but they got spotted by a guard. They took everyone inside hostage, and now they're keeping a watch so we can't move against them. They're using the intercom to communicate. They won't talk to me. Say they don't trust the badge. <laughs> they want a neutral negotiator. In other words, they didn't have a plan for this, so they're stalling while they come up with one. It might come to that, but first I just want you to talk to them. Find out what they want, and then report back to me. Take it slow and steady. Look for every opportunity to de-escalate. You got this. Hey, you in the bank. I'm sending in a negotiator, so don't Jerry shoot. around here is a and joke. I can see him. And don't try nothing. You're the negotiator, huh? If you think you're just gonna walk up here and get us to surrender, you're dead wrong. Jed. Jed Bullock. Well, ain't you polite. So tell me, stranger, how do I know you're gonna deal straight with us? <laughs> I don't know you, so why should your word mean anything to me? I'm 
already sick to death of this place. Okay, I can see you're not just the Marshal's tool. You want what we want. A nice, happy ending where nobody gets hurt. So let's talk. They talk too damn much. Complain about everything. But as much as we'd like to, none of us has shot one yet. Got a real attitude problem, don't you? Well, you better listen up. We want to guarantee a safe passage to the spaceport and a ship. We'll drop the hostages off somewhere safe in the system. After that, we'll radio back where they are and the Marshal and his crew can come and get them. But if anybody follows us when we break orbit, we start shooting people. Got it? Unless you want blood on your head. We want to guarantee a safe passage to the space. We'll drop the hostages off somewhere safe in the system. After that, we'll... But if anybody follows us when we break... Then persuade the marshal that... This whole damn job's gone wrong. It was supposed to be just... So let's just... Let's all try to keep our heads, yeah? Because my guy... What do you mean? Damn it! I didn't think of it that way. Nobody's been hurt. So maybe the judge won't come down too hard on us. Yeah. I think this has gone on long enough. You go tell the marshal we'll come quietly. You'd make a decent ranger with the way you handled that. making fools of us all. What's the word? Well, I'll be a son of an Ashta. <laughs> How'd you pull that off? Ha! <laughs> well, you don't like for confidence. Well, I bet you could sell dirt to a Dusty. Here, you've more than earned this. You got us out of a tough spot, and you did it with courage that's not common. As a matter of fact, you might just be Freestar Ranger material. If you're interested, head on over to The Rock and ask for Emma Wilcox. She handles the new recruits. All right, now that lives aren't on the line, let's get back to Galbag, see if we can get those maps. Good things come your way. I've had quite enough excitement for now. We'll take it from here. Well, I suppose I'll have to write a report about all of this. gone too far this time. I'm thinking I ought to hire some guards. <laughs> Ah, this is 
Solomon's code really old man. Some make it seem like he built the whole damn thing start with that shit. That's the rock. Ranger Central. Not a bad part, too. Still feels a little weird, though. Guess I'm not used to having the tube out. But it's nothing that would keep me from getting back out there. There can still be a set back. You're probably looking for Mary. Hey, not so fast! that way. That's pretty crazy. You can buy shark eggs then. Need something? What can I get you, Emma? You got some business with me? No. Imagine what for. You kidding? She's an angel. Truth is, she looks up to you and the marshal. Trying to keep track of the bad guys is just her way of showing that. I'm sure it's just a phase. Oh. A well, if the marshal sent you to me, that means he's looking to recruit you. Just so you know what you're getting into. I'll explain who we are and what we do. Well, the Freestar Rangers ensure the safety and security of the Freestar Collective and its people. We might hunt down a fugitive, break up a smuggling operation, investigate a starship theft, or put some would-be bank robbers behind bars. Whatever needs doing to keep the people safe, we do. Sure. But we rangers work across the whole of Freestar Collective Space. Like most things that are worth doing, it ain't always easy. But do I think we make the Freestar Collective a little safer for everyone? Yeah, I do. I imagine you've got some questions. I'll answer anything I can. Well, in theory, a Freestar Ranger can go anywhere in Freestar Collective Space, uh, even private property. But of course, it doesn't always work out that way. We also have jurisdiction over any local security when we're tracking a fugitive. I'll say right up front that if you're looking to get rich, this ain't the line of work for you. But yeah, we do get paid from time to time to help with expenses and such. Okay, then. A word about myself. I'm in charge of making sure anyone that wants to be a Freestar Ranger is up to the task. That being said, the Marshal wouldn't send you here if he didn't think you had potential. So, what's it gonna be? Are you ready to sign up with the Freestar Rangers? Look, you have to be completely sure about this, so just come and find me. Alright, let's get back to that bank vault. So it's not going to be on a slate. Big bundles of paper is what we're after.
shakeup. Of course that old mule saw this coming. You gonna be like this the whole way? Damn it. I was hoping to avoid the estate. Cora's gonna be so mad. We really gotta do this. <sighs> All right, fine. He's my dad, okay? We're not exactly on friendly terms. He probably figured I'd come for the maps at some point. Got ahead of me. Family business just wasn't something I wanted to get into, you know? Yeah, well, sorry I'm such a pain about it. No forgiveness between me and my old man. It's, a uh, cold tradition. All right, shall we? from the shock gang. This can be a dangerous place. Just to carry a reliable piece. I'm just saying, my family was on the beach. Oh, looks like we got another off. decides to darken our doorstep again. You know why I'm here. Oh? And what's that? You come to your senses? Realize where you ought to be for once? I ain't asking again. You ain't asked once. Let's hear it. I want you to say the words about what's more important to you than family. Okay, this was a mistake. The only mistake I'm seeing here is you bringing your constellation lackey here instead of my granddaughter. Come to help Sam loot his ancestry? You're not getting those maps. Full stop. Nothing's more important than family. Nothing. If Sam had stuck around, he'd know that. You wouldn't be here. All right, that's enough. Come on, let's you and I talk. In private. Hmm. Welcome home, Sam. Make your visit short, okay? It's what you do. Give me a sec. All right, let's talk options. You're flying in the face of my 30 plus years experience with the man, but all right. I hope you like arguing. What is it this time, Constellation? Well, that's not your decision, is it? It's called property by birthright. It stays here. I think we can work something out. I can't believe I'm saying this. But if I'll get you out of my hair, then fine. You can have the maps. They're in the other room, here. Key.
All right, let's see if we can find the empty nest. All right, let me think. The way I heard it, the readings he was getting were normal at first, then they bottomed out. And no creature, alien or otherwise, would dare step inside. There. Found it. Oh, boy. <sighs> That's a problem. Well, you ain't wrong. But let's take a look at what we're up against. First, it's in the middle of the frontier, which we already expected. No problems there, but the usual tussling with alien wildlife. But the empty nest is a cave right in the middle of Shawgang territory. Same outlaws who held up Galbag. Hey, if they're willing to trade, all the better. But the Shaw Gang is a uh, shoot first kind of outfit. All right, time's a wasting. Let's get to that cave.
I'm listening. Don't worry. Any bad guys try to take the ship, I'll blast them. Or, you know, just take off and fly away. I want to fly my own ship and go all over the place. Like you and Dad, really. But hopefully not as crazy as your travels. I thought Dad's were exciting. But yours? Brr. I read. I look around the ship, but no touching. Dad lets me do all sorts of stuff on his ship, but he said I have to be respectful on your ship. But I could try to fix things if you ask. Hint, hint, you can ask. I promise I'll be good. It's the best. I met another kid my age who hadn't been on a starship once. Not even once. Same boring old planet for like years. She didn't even know how to replace a phase manifold. Can you imagine? Yup, I've been his co-pilot since I was old enough to read a map. He lets me fly sometimes, and fix things aboard, and use the intercom and everything. I just have to promise not to complain about having to stay aboard the ship when we're somewhere dangerous. Dad says when I'm older, he'll teach me how to use a pistol, and once I'm a good enough shot, I can go with him anywhere. I can't wait to get older. Dead end. Planets like this are precious. Hello, Captain.
Cora has already finished the pre-flight checklist. That's my girl. What can I help you with? Same for the likes of you. Even smugglers might take a shot at you if you invade their turf.
Today's not going to be your day, pal. Smugglers are about. Might be some goodies around. You can stand to drop a few pounds, and I don't mean a diet. I wonder what flavor a smuggler lives here. <laughs> Maybe cherry vanilla?
looks like a smuggler den. Warren nest, or whatever you call it, smugglers in here. all of that
I think that's far enough. Hate to put a hole in the head of Akela's own prodigal son. At least not before we've had a word. You must be Shaw. What I am is disappointed. Samco in the flesh and he's peddling around the frontier with the has-beens of Constellation. Now you got past my crew, who I pay quite handsomely, I might add. Grab something from that weird cave. Probably whatever's been keeping the Ashto away. So, I'm down one hideout. Now, let's talk about what all that's worth to me. Your lives, your credits. One or the other, really. Oh, really? Let's hear it. You got past a few rookies, that's all. <laughs> Fine. Get the hell out of here before I change my mind. I see you again. You're dead. What? It's the Ashta. You. This is your fault. You better lend us a hand. something for dealing with the Ashta. Take it and get lost. You're lucky the boss is so generous.
Hey, we're back. Newest member of our little family really full. Just, what are we building here? I haven't picked up any kind of frequency or signal coming from it. That doesn't mean much. This thing could be emitting something we can't even detect. As far as we know, we could be building a gigantic bomb that will blow up as soon as we finish it. Or maybe it's some kind of interstellar children's toy. Why would either of those things give the Discoverer visions and music? It's a message. I'm sure of it. We just have to hope that finding more of the pieces will give us some clue. I hear that. Moving forward sometimes means fumbling around in the dark. I think Cora and I can use some downtime, but you let me know if you ever want to team up again. Oh, and since it tends to come up, me and my Rugrat co-pilot work as a team. That's non-negotiable. If I'm coming with, that means Cora's on your ship. Hmm. Why not? What do you think, Cora? It's really nice to have more company. New stories, new data. What? Data? <laughs> All right. We're in. Let's see what the galaxy throws at us next. Hello there. Lately, I find myself spending more and more time here. Business has appealed to me, but this is exciting. We've always considered ourselves explorers. 